Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how you can load text inside of Waterdo. So let's get started. First, you're going to go into the Discover tab. Then you're going to click on Plugins. Then you're going to type out text in the search bar like this. And then you're going to click on the plugin that says text assets and accessories and it is made by next time so thank you next time you can click on this and you can be able to click on the subscribe button so that way you can be able to get and it's free by the way don't think subscribe is paid this is free 100 free so pretty much what you're gonna then do after you subscribe also i'm gonna give you a like what you're gonna then do is you're gonna go into assets then you're gonna press on add asset you're going to scroll down to this tab here and click on display, then click on 3D text display. And then over here, this is where the magic happens. So first of all, go ahead and type out what the heck you want to type. I'm going to type in banana bread because why not? So as you can see here, I have banana bread, but oh no, it's backwards and also a very giant. How the heck are we going to fix this? Well, to start off, you can actually use the transform over here to actually fix it. So in order to fix it from being all backwards and stuff or facing the wrong way, just type in 180 on the Y button on the Y box right here, like so. And then you can press W. E and R in order to change the scale, rotation, and then the movement here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this and such. And I actually let's let's say we want this attached to my head. So you can actually be able to attach it to your own character's head by going to transform attachment and clicking on character and selecting what you want it to be attached to. And as you can see, it is attaching my head. I got banana bread on my head. What the heck? So now besides that, you can also even adjust the text width and height. So if you want it, so that way it's like this, you can do that. So you can do this, click and drag and just kind of adjust it to what you want, you know? So just pretty much have fun. You can have the pivot be different and all that. And adjust it. So this is great for just like fine tuning. And then once you have that, you can then be able to use Text Mesh Pro Data. This will allow us to do even further customization. I will say though, from what I've tested, there are some settings that may not work. It might just be me, but you can always contact next time if there is a particular thing that you want, but you're struggling on getting it to work right. So just let them know in the water the Discord server. Either way though, you can be able to actually add a uh, your own custom fonts and actually how you can actually add your own fonts to Wadado, you know, custom ones. Cause I have a font. It is called cookie. I actually can't find cookie actually. Oh, right here. Yeah. There's a, I can have like a cookie font because that's the font I really like. So in order to have a custom font, you'll actually have to go into the pop button here, click on open data folder. And then you're going to go into the fonts folder and you need to make sure that there is a TTF file for text. You can actually go into Google fonts website and be able to download a custom one of your choice. And all you have to do is just import it here. And then after you import it, you're then going to do some digging. It should probably be at the top, but you may also, again, may have to do digging depending on, I guess the, you know, I guess it depends, but you know, it should be on the top or maybe at the bottom. So make sure to double check if you are installing a custom font. Otherwise though, you know, you can change the font style here. So I can make this bold or italic. You can change font size here, make it giant or small, which is really nice. You can then also set up some text auto sizing if you want. So you can adjust these things accordingly. Make sure to read these instructions depending on what you want. And pretty much after, you know, you set up some stuff here, you can even have a font weight so you can make it light or medium and stuff. From what I see with my cookie font, it's probably not going to work, but that's okay. No worries. And over here, you can have rich text here. So this is... You know, again, this is probably like making sure like if I were to type in something like 
something like this, as you can see, you can be able to utilize the rich text of that way, you know, you can do something like this. Of course, there's a much more easier way. You can change the font color if you want. But of course, for, you know, further customization, you could do something like this. This is how I could be able to change the color just by typing in color equals and then the hex code that, you know, the hex color that I want. And then making sure that the text is after so that way it's a green banana bread. So there you go. And then if I press on no, then it's going to show you the actual text that for the color. So either way, we can also have some wor word wrapping and this can, you know, you can adjust this however you want. Oh, there it goes. So you can, you know, adjust it, play with it. I haven't really gotten too much luck on getting this to work on my end though. But of course, you know, you can try and mess around, see if you can get it to work. But otherwise, feel free to contact next time if, you know, if you need to get, if you need these exact things to get work working and such. Either way, we can also have color things. So let me go ahead and erase this or delete that. And then we can be able to change the color of our text right here. So I can have a nice blue banana bread. Ooh, very fancy banana bread. And you can have it so that way you can override the color tag if you want. You can even have it where it can enable gradient. So over here under gradient corners, you can be able to mess around with this for the four color gradient stuff. And you can make some really nice effects with you know the gradient so it's really fancy oh look at that fancy banana bread so yeah so you're gonna have to use four corners as is the only thing available for gradient so thank you thank you and then of course you know you can mess with these other things if you want and all that but pretty much there's also enable outline which i haven't really gotten any luck on getting this to work but of course you know if you need, if you really need a saying, you can always contact next time if you need further assistance regarding this. And either way, you can also be able to mess around with your alignment if you need it to be aligned some way. So you can adjust here, and then you can adjust even the margins if you want. All this advanced stuff, you know? So it really depends on what you really want. Oh, there goes the banana bread. Oh, there goes my water editor. And yeah. So you can adjust this however you want. You got pretty much what is in the text pro mesh of Unity. It's all here in Wadada for further advancement for your Wadada setup. And then pretty much there you can mess with your render settings if you like, you know, for layering reasons or something like that. But otherwise though, for the in a nutshell, that's pretty much, you know, for the most part how you can you know, manage the text and stuff, and you can do some really nice effects and all that. And of course, you know, if you need any further information regarding text related stuff for Wadado, or maybe if there's a particular saying that you may want from next time that should be added, you know, to the plugin, then feel free to contact them in the Wadado Discord server and give them plenty of love because they have worked so hard on getting this to us Wadado users. So definitely give them so much love that they gave this to us. But otherwise though, um, Oh, and actually one last thing before I do go, there's actually a cool node trick that you can do. So if you type in text up here in the search bar for your blueprint, you actually have access to get displayed text, set displayed text, and then set text object font. So you can be able to utilize this for further control. Let's say if you have like a text or something, you want to do some toggling on, let's say maybe you want to change the font or maybe you want to change the input. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and click on 3D text display here. I'm going to make sure that text mesh pro is selected. And let's say instead of banana bread, I'm going to say canaries. So then I press on enter. Oh, that's right. You also got to click on the text item index here. My bad. You have to do that. So make sure you click on this and then press on enter. And there you go. That's how you can be able to change the text, you know, on command, which is really nice. And 
Also, as for the object font here, you do the same thing. So 3D text display, make sure that this is set to the text 3D text display. And then you can actually change the, the font, which I'm going to just make this one Coda. And then, boom, you can change the font on a hotkey or maybe depending on like a condition that happens on your Twitch stream. Let's say maybe a particular thing that your chat may have said, then it can be able to appear here and all that stuff. So in a new version of the text plugin from next time, we now have the option to be able to throw text at our character. So simply search up throw in the search bar here. Click on the throw text at character here, like so. And then you'll have this very, very big node, but don't worry. Pretty much this node, just think of it just as the same as the text asset from earlier, but it's just in node form, so it's a throwable. So allow me to quickly show you. So pretty much we're going to have this set to our target character. Then we're going to set it, let's say, for example, we're going to type in banana, let's say. We can add a impact particle if we want, like let's say this one here. We can add a sound if we want, like one of these or another sound, something random. We can, of course, have auto size width or height and all these other things. You can just experiment it however. I also will say as well, just for testing purposes, I recommend typing invoke and adding an invoke flow node here this will be good so that way you can click on this button yeah and you can be able to see the text which the text comes off very big but i'll show you how to fix that but you can use this that you know while you're going down the giant node you can use this as like a quick test if that makes sense so to quickly also you know let me just quickly like show you how you can fix the giant size text you can use the scale and make it to like a smaller number Let's say about 0.1, I'm going to do that. And then the text should be much more smaller, but you know, the, te the text does approach a bit slowly, so I'm gonna increase the speed, so that way, you know, it's faster. And then to also fix the fact that the text is backwards, I will set, look at camera offset, I'll set the Y to 180, like so like that and you can also even have this where you can change where the where the prop is you know the text is being thrown at you know above the head or anything like that like that <laughs> so you can do that if you want but pretty much it's just a matter of like really messing with the settings it's just about the same you know as the throw prop at character is pretty much about the same the only main difference between this node and the text one is that this one has extra settings for the text pretty much so i say pretty much just you know experiment however you want and what i mentioned earlier regarding how to adjust the text you can apply that same knowledge over to here pretty much i'll also mention as well if you want to make sure to have the text from your asset panel here connected to the throw text at character, I recommend making sure that the get display text, which you can type it out here, display text, put over here, and make sure that the output is connected to the message text. So there's the box here, of course, but you can have it so it's connected. That way it can ensure that whatever you do over here you can be able to have this, like any changes that you do over here can also be affected when you do the throw text at character. So keep that in mind. Do make sure, by the way, that not only do you set up the text display here, but also that you set up the text 3D text display here as well, just to make sure that it actually does work. Really, really cool stuff that you can do with the text plugin and yeah i hope that you have a lovely day everyone i hope i taught you something new have a lovely day everyone see you guys next time bye bye thank you to all my snowflake members in case you don't know i have youtube membership so if you want to further support this channel and what i do then feel free to join the snowflake members otherwise though just your support means so much to me and i appreciate every ounce of it
Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.